Hello guys, Salman Nassim here. Welcome to the first video of our course in which we will work on Blender with the help of ChatGPT. In case you don't know, Blender is an open source free software for 3D modeling and animation, which is very famous in the animation and gaming industry. To download this software, just go to blender.org and click on download button. In case your PC or laptop don't support the latest version, you can easily download previous version of Blender which of course have little bit less hardware requirement. As per the minimum requirement for the Blender, it needs a CPU with SSE2 support, 8GB RAM and a graphic card and 2GB graphic card with OpenGL 4.3 support. That simply means your PC or laptop shouldn't be a less than 10 year old. They also display the recommended hardware requirement for Blender. The question is how we will work on Blender with the help of ChatGPT. That is because Blender has the support for the Python. And we will generate the code with the help of ChatGPT and run it in a Blender to create the animation and other stuff. But we will start with the hello world. That simply means we will create a cube with the help of our code. So we will give the prompt here. Give me a Python code that create a cube in Blender. We will run it. The ChatGPT is automatically give me the code. Remember, I am using the free version of ChatGPT. It is not a paid, it is a free and accessible for everyone. So I'll copy the code and go to the Blender. Currently, we are in a viewport. That is the viewport at the downstairs. We have the timeline. At the right side, we have the outliner, which indicate everything contained in a time, uh, everything contained in a viewport. And there is a properties menu. There is a tab for the scripting, but we'll not go there. We'll split this window by bringing our mouse to the corner and drag it like that. To, now we'll have two viewport and we'll change this window to the text editor. Click on a new button and before running the script, we'll bring our mouse to the viewport and press the A and X to delete everything. That is because by default, Blender come up with the cube. So we'll place the text over here and run it so blender automatically create a cube for us and it also contain the material before moving further it's time to cover some basic of 3d geometry that is just a basic if we select our cube and click on a tab button you will see there are the number of dots which create our which creates our cube and these dots called a uh, vertex We'll have the edge also, that's mean a simple one line uh, with the help of two edges, there will be a one vertex and also there is a face. We can select everything and also edit according to our requirement, but that is not the case currently. We'll do most of the stuff with the help of Python code. You may be also notice that whenever we click on a tab button, there will be a, another menu appear on a left side that's, that is called T menu in Blender which allow us to edit our cube. We'll co cover this part in our upcoming videos in a course. To work in a viewport, we can press the middle mouse button and uh, rotate it like that. If you don't have the middle mouse button, you can do that from here. And also we can zoom in, zoom out with the help of wheel mouse, mean the middle mouse again. And we have the move tool, like if we, if we press the middle mouse button and press the shift key, you can see that we can move it like that and there is a camera shortcut currently there is a no camera in our scene we can, you can also see in our outliner and also there is a switch between perspective and orthographic view so currently we have only one cube in our scene we will ask ChatGPT to create a code for us which will create three cubes in a line along with three point lighting so i have write the prompt that Delete everything in a scene and create three cubes with little bit different in a size and also add the floor along with three point lighting set three three point lighting of different colors. In case you don't know what is three point lighting, we'll Google it and that is the setup which is mostly used, which is commonly used to project the light on specific objects. So let's see what ChatGPT will give us on that specific prompt. As you can see in a code that is very easy to understand that it's divided a code by adding a different line for example that is set up a material for cube and set up light and everything that that we can easily edit this 
these codes if we have little understanding of Python. So, but uh, I will just copy the code and place it in a Blender. We'll go there and place the code. Let's see how it's run. So, as you can see, there is an error in a code. That is why Blender is not adding a light and camera to our scene. So, we'll give this error to ChatGPT to fix the code. So, we will write this error over, over here in a ChatGPT and ask them to fix the code. And it is automatically fix the error and will copy the code and bring it into the, and bring it to the blender. But before doing that, I will show you one shortcut that will be very helpful for you, especially when you are placing the code from here to there. That is, if we press Windows plus V on a keyboard, the one clipboard like that will be appear on your Windows. That will help us to go back in a specific code or specific specific part if we copy uh, if we copy paste we can go back in a history of our copy paste and select everything as per our requirement but currently we don't require anything like that we'll co we we have this code that is that is more than enough and we'll go there in a blender and select everything delete it and bring it here you can automatically see that there are three lights here these are the three lights you can see and there is a floor there is a camera of, of course that is not pointing quite well we'll increase the size of our plane by pressing the s key and let's go in a render mode by clicking a uh, z button and select the render so you can see that how beautifully these cubes are placed over here and currently we are in a cycle render we'll go to the ev you can still see that there is a at least a awesome three point lighting setup for us. Let's examine a little bit about the lighting. We'll select the light and go to object data properties. You can see the color of these light and the power and go there. There is a white color light and here is another light which is uh you can say bra uh, you can say orangish orangish type of color and uh, as per uh, as per scene you can see it, uh, it is looking very awesome in uh ev and even in a cycle in case you don't know what is uh, what is a cycle and what is the ev we'll cover it in our upcoming lecture thank you so much for watching until here if you are interested in this course and wanted to enroll it for free i am placing the link with the coupon in the description just click on that and we'll see you there thank you